Hello YouTube, Droid Freak here, and welcome to Super Flat Survival Episode 6. In the last video, I said that I'd be making a, like an experience farm slash monster farm in this video, and I would like to do that, but I've been playing around in creative mode, building, or trying out a design, and it works well. But the problem is, it takes a whole lot of blocks compared to what I have. I have, what is it, 14 stacks of cobblestone here? I'll need something like 36 stacks of blocks to build this. Probably a little bit more. And I feel like cobblestone would be, or something based on cobblestone, maybe smooth stone? I don't know if I have enough coal. Anyways, I would need to like, I need to find some sort of block that Enderman can't grab, so cobblestone would be a good choice. And I need to get a whole lot of it. So I think the way that I'm going to do that is probably going to be a whole lot of strip mining. Because that just seems like the best way to get both a lot of blocks in the form of cobblestone and a lot of, like, items like minerals and stuff. So I think that is the best course of action. I have enough wood on me to oh, to make some tools while I'm down there. So I think I'm going to start off with a nice long strip mining time lapse to get the materials I need to build the monster experience farm. So here we go.
Well guys, I think that time lapse has definitely been long enough, even though I haven't collected enough cobblestone to build that XP farm I was thinking of. But you know what? It's been a long time lapse of strip mining, so I think I'm gonna put off the rest of collecting stuff and the actual like what do you call it? <laughs> the actual, you know, building of the XP farm until next episode. And for the rest of this episode, I'll, you know, go exploring or something. I'll make myself some pants and boots. And put everything important off me. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that iron. Yeah, sandstone is really important. Uh, redstone I can craft into blocks and put in the chest. Just like that. I feel like I need another chest to differentiate between things that are valuable and things that aren't really. Let's grab the valuables. Throw them up there. Yeah. Slime balls are kind of valuable, I guess. Can go up there. Uh, lapis, iron, obsidian, books. Throw the rest of the stuff in here, I think. Coal can go in there. Uh, keep some coal on me, but not a ton. And let's put some wood in there. Wood is valuable at this point in this series. But today I think I'm going to head off in search of you know, stuff. I'm gonna head this way because, yeah, this would be a good direction to head in. And I don't think I've had the, headed this way yet. So, let's head off this way and see what's over here. Maybe I should turn up my render distance so I can see a little bit farther. Ooh, and I realized that my sound is turned way down. Let's try normal and turn up my sound. Sorry about that. It's probably been really quiet for you this whole time. But I haven't noticed. And have I been there yet? If I haven't, well, I suppose I could loot chests. Not much else for me to do there. Well, there are lighting glitches, but that's not saying much. There are lighting glitches everywhere. Oh, hi. Yeah, a little bit laggy on this long of render distance. Yeah, that was totally lag fault that he had to blow up on me. Let's try this. So, uh, I don't see any obvious chests. Any easy to reach chests, so I'll just move on. And, hi guys. Hi. Totally not going to catch me and blow up. You're just going to hang out back there. All alone. What? I don't think I've ever been here. If I've never been here, how has there been arrow shooting going on there? Maybe I have been here and I just don't know it. I certainly don't remember heading off in this direction. Well, here's a nice mine shaft. A nice one that gets it down in the ground. Ooh, scary underground mine shaft. Oh, it's not like the underground right here. Any nice, easy to reach chests? Oh, this part is underground. Ooh, scary. Well, probably full of monsters. That's the part that's scary. Get out. Yep, blow each other up. And 
Oh, no, that's a dead end. So, off to this direction. Oh, hi, more creepers. Uh, hi. Yup. Let me collect all these resources. And you... Uh, nope, no more redstone. Cool. I guess. Are, are you just... Oh, you're stuck. That's what you are. Ha. Huh. Huh. Ha. <laughs> ha. And you're standing behind a fence post because you're an idiot. You just can't seem to figure out how to walk around that fence post and get to me. Probably you just can't see through it, even though it's clearly not opaque. You're just crazy like that. Oh, hi guys. Oh, I know why he's standing there. He's trying not to burn. Maybe. Maybe. Crits, crits, crits. Yeah, if you jump into spider webs, then you get crits all the time because you're falling the whole time, and when you're falling is when you get crits. So that can be a good strategy, actually, when you're fighting mobs. To jump into a spider web, even though it seems like kind of a stupid idea. There's a spawner. It's a zombie spawner, but still, there is a spawner, and... Wait, there are saddles just sitting there. That might explain the abundance of zombies, but how did... Did, like... Was there, like, a chest that just broke? Because... Why are there saddles just out in the open? Doesn't even make sense. Well, that happened. Moving on. <laughs> Down the mine shaft. Carrot. Well, I don't have carrots. Three saddles. Seriously, I don't need saddles at all. Speaking of saddles, though, did you see the new snapshot they came out with with horses? It's kind of crazy. Crazy stuff. Meanwhile, they're completely ignoring all the bugs that they should be fixing. Honestly, I'd rather see them fix a bunch of bugs rather than add in horses. Not that horses are bad or anything, but I'd like to see them polish up the game before they go trying out a feature like that that isn't completely useful. Oh, hi. You wanna get stuck? Oh, oh, you can get through there. Good to know. Good guy creeper excavating stuff for me. Mm, not even gonna bother with that block of coal into the fence post. And, oh. Well, that's not the kind of spawner I wanna see. Oh. Uh, move before the lighting glitches cause any of them to spawn. Because <laughs> those guys are not fun. And I completely lost my sense of direction. Are we heading that way? Hmm. I think this is the direction that I came from. I do believe I'm not positive. I may have to go look up previous episodes to see. Yeah, I do believe that I was heading off in this direction when I ran into the mine shaft. Anything useful here? Nope. Just gonna have to dig my way out again. She has a shovel. And let's see if I can continue along my way and find a village, maybe. Find a village with saplings? That would be great. 
or I could head back before it becomes nighttime and I get killed. That would be a pretty sweet idea, I do believe. You know, not dying. And here we go, yay! Speaking of here we go, time lapse. <laughs> here we go. Okay guys, I made it back to my house, and I think I'm about to, you know, head back out again. Um, yeah, I think I'll try that same direction again. This time I'll not, I'll try to not get quite as sidetracked as I was. And right, this happened. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely will have to be fully repaired at some point. But for now, I'll just, you know, put that corner of my house back on. And back off into the great unknown. Picking up rotten flesh as we go, because zombies and stuff, yeah. I suppose that means that there must still be living villagers in my village because I think that zombies only spawn in big packs like that if there's like a village with villagers it seems like more than just the regular spawning of zombies and off we go this is north okay just making sure in case I get lost, like I almost did last time, I'll try to remember that we are heading north. So to get back, we have to head south. Oh, thought I was gonna miss that. Okay, here's the mine shaft that I kind of stopped in last time, but we can definitely make it a ways further before we have to turn back. So let's see if we can find a village with saplings, just maybe. Just maybe. Who knows, maybe we'll run into something else interesting. I don't know what else we could really find, I guess. Might find another stronghold. Might find a mine shaft, but eh, I've seen a lot of mine shafts at this point. And I'm pretty sure that they can't have saplings in them, so, eh. Any easily accessible chests, though? I wouldn't mind grabbing some loot. Uh, there's a spawner of the undesirable sort. Here's a track that just runs along. A uh, great big lighting glitch that just went away. I don't see any chests near here. Or minecart chests, rather. But I still don't see any. Hmm. Uh, is that? No, that's, that's stone that's generating in midair. How? Huh. I guess the lava pool generates after the mine shaft and replaces some of the fence posts with stone. That is so messed up, dude. Anyways, here we go off into the distance. Let's see if we can find something else interesting. Something like a village. Maybe a stronghold. Mostly hoping for a village. Come on, village. Nope, lag spike. Oh man. <laughs> Exploring is a whole lot more interesting on a regular world. In super flat world, there's really no scenery to speak of, except for like lava pools and water pools and mine shafts, and maybe if you're lucky, villages. 
but not see any villages here. I got really lucky in the first episode. I found a stronghold like right off the bat. That was crazy. And more lag spikes. Really, why with the lag spikes? I thought Optifine was supposed to fix that kind of stuff. But apparently not. Oh man. Really? Super lag spike just as I'm about to check the time. And I'm afraid this video is going a little bit over time here. Oh. Come on. Come on, lags. Oh, it's because I'm generating new chunks, that's why. I suppose that's a good sign, because if I'm generating new chunks, that means that I might find new stuff that I haven't found before. I see, I think that's two separate mine shafts. Sure looks like it. And there's a lava pool that I'd rather not fall into. But new village. Hmm. Mine shafts, mine shafts everywhere. But not a village to oh pillage. <laughs> there we go. There's the village to pillage. Ah, I got a blacksmith. Got blacksmith. Maybe. Or two. Um, no, that's a well. That's a well. I don't see a blacksmith yet. Oh, there's one. We got a blacksmith. Oh, leg spiking again. Uh, I don't see another one, but this could be the one. This could be the one that gives me saplings. Two iron chest plates, but no saplings, fortunately. Eh, slime balls. Uh, fence posts. You can go in there. Now, is there another blacksmith? Maybe. Maybe you want to be my lucky day? Give me another blacksmith. Oh, I'm starving. What? Well, I mean, not literally starving, but quite hungry. And is there a nice little mine shaft over there? Uh, no. Sure looks like this is end of the line, end of the village. And uh, I think it's about end of the episode too. Um, yeah. I think I'll end off the episode here. I'll just jog on back to my house in a time lapse. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel to see more awesome videos. Bye!